Hi, my name is Christina and I have a sketchbook problem. Hello friends! I recently purchased myself the square Ohu oh Hu um, marker sketchbook. Uh, my brain likes to read it as Ohu oh Ohu oh Hu Hu. <laughs> um, but anyways, he thick. I needed, sorry, excuse me, I wanted a more reasonably shaped art dump slash exploration sketchbook and I've never tried a square run before so I went for this one. I also ordered some cheap alcohol markers to use with this thing but they're in some sort of shipment delay and I have exactly zero patience so the show must go on. <laughs> So here we have the dreaded first page. I wasn't emotionally ready to go there yet, so I named him first. I decided his government name was going to be The Great Chonk <laughs> because I mean, look at him. I also have a bunch of stationary stickers and stuff that I never use, so I figured it might be cute to add a little bit um, of spice. I decided to add a little chunky cat sticker and I think I put more thought into which cat to choose more than I did anything else that day. Um, <laughs> But one of them did eventually win the chunk contest in my head. And I also added my contact info at the bottom in case I ever lose his greatness. Plus I also added some strangely placed dots. I don't know, I hate it. Um, but I figured I'd just write my goals on there later when I finally figure out what that is. Which could be never. <laughs> Alright, it is time to face my issues. <laughs> Why is the first page so difficult? I legit said I was going to you know, have an art dump sketchbook and here I am overthinking the aesthetics of the first page. In the end, I put my foot down and I said, no sketching, no nothing, I'm just gonna go straight in, it doesn't matter. But just now that I was, it was, I was in a lot of pain that whole time. Since I've been trying to practice drawing characters and character design a lot more, I just looked at some pictures on Pinterest of models and poses. Um, and just had to go at it with a black liner first and then I will add some color markers later. Starting this sketchbook ended up being the perfect opportunity to reflect on my perfectionistic but not tendencies. Let me know if you can relate, but I don't necessarily think I'm a perfectionist in the most traditional sense. And by that I mean that I do not go above and beyond to do something as close to perfection as it can get. But, but, I think that's because I never believe that I can possibly get anything done to the standard that I set in my head. So I give up before even trying. But essentially I'm convinced that I'll fail. I'm still figuring out how this sort of lovely personality trait is translating into my art habits, but I do know how it affects my art supply habits, hence my sketchbook problem. And to make life that much more interesting, I have a wee bit of a hoarding problem too. I just can't seem to let physical objects go because I'm convinced they will be useful in the future. So here's kind of my simple life formula. <laughs> Perfectionism plus hoarding equals having too many things and never using them because duh, I will never be able to use them to the best of their capacity, whatever that even is, and therefore I will ruin their usefulness. <laughs> so I just end up having a whole bunch of stuff and I never use them. Let me show you how many sketchbooks I have. And keep in mind that I've only been drawing often slash consistently for about half a year. We've got the uncomfortably large sketchbook. The still kind of too big but acceptable mixed media sketchbook. The random dollar store sketchbook I forgot I had and was pleasantly surprised to find for no reason since I probably won't use it. The pretty but horrible paper sketchbook. The Strathmore watercolor sketchbook. The dollar store tan paper sketchbook. And finally, a tiny travel watercolor sketchbook. Also, don't forget, just another regular sketchbook but make it fancy because of its nice to touch cover. Ooh. <laughs> This list does not include a bunch of the journaling type books that I have. I don't journal. Um, a whole bunch of watercolor paper pads. I'm too scared to use the paper and ruin it. And copious amounts of notebooks. I think writing things down is too slow. Yeah. I think my biggest goal should just probably be use your crap and stop buying new crap. <laughs> but will I stop buying new sketchbooks? I do not think so. I really don't. 
Anyways, if you're watching this, please do go in the comments and tell me how you overthink, you know, life stuff or anything really, especially if it has to do with art. I'm always curious to see all the little quirks and stuff that people end up doing because of, you know, their own issues <laughs> um, or anxiety or whatever else that you struggle with. And maybe tell me how you overcome them um, if you do. Something that obviously I found to be really helpful for me is to have an art dump sketchbook and then actually force myself to use it as a, you know, ugly sketchbook. Um, because I do have some fancier ones and I find that I'm so scared to even start a piece and so scared to mess it up that I don't draw at all. And of course that's very, you know, counterintuitive and just not helpful for me and my skills at all. So this was my solution and hopefully I, you know, will just unleash <laughs> my true potential or something um, and, uh, and it will, you know, solve all my problems because that's what sketchbooks do. <laughs>